Well, good morning. Welcome to the Rebel Express Show. It's March 19th, and it's day four of our school closure. I'm Chris Capaletti, and here we go with today's show. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I forgot to hit play on the uh, PowerPoint. Okay. So, uh, here boop, is my Twitter handle and my email. We got that every day now. All right, so a couple people have reached out. Some students said, hi, they miss Lupo. So here's a little video of, of Lupo and I about 10 minutes ago outside. Roll the tape. So Lupo and I want to wish everybody, like, a good morning. Happy, happy Thursday, day four of being off of school. Uh, Lupo, so, well, now, because he's bored, he sits and he whines. Very good. Can you say good morning? Good morning, everyone. Good morning. <laughs> All right, athletic update. We don't have one. We're paused. So as long as school's closed, the athletic program is closed. So again, all facilities are closed. Um, I wish I had more to tell you on that. I know people are, are curious. They want to know. They're ready to get back on the ball field, the track, the court, the golf course. I don't have anything. Right now, we're just paused. Libraries are all closed. But again, reach out to myself or Mrs. Ross. She's doing a great job promoting the Sora app, eBooks. Remember, they're free. It's like going to a digital library. And again, we want to exercise our brains. So I'm reading a good book right now. It's a, a thriller. I'll put up the title here. Boop. So I'm, you know, I'm a spy, and you know, I really like Tom Clancy. Uh, that's my that's my thing. And I d believe it or not, uh, I. The days are filling up. Uh, I started the show this morning at about 6.30. Um, I have all day today. So uh, teachers out there, we are working hard. We're getting it done. All right, as promised every day, the COVID hotline, Allegheny County Crisis Hotline, and the Cattaraugus County Hotline. Again, if you're having physical or mental any kind of crisis, use these numbers. Um, people are out there to care for you and to help you and or if you need to share these numbers, please do that. All right, lunch. According to Mr. Leva and everything I saw, lunch went great yesterday. Remember, today, between 11 and 1 a.m., uh, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Cuba Rushford Elementary in Cuba and the Rushford Fire Hall in Rushford, you're going to walk up, tell them your name. They're going to put the, the lunch and remember, you get today's lunch and tomorrow's breakfast. So today you're getting Thursday's lunch, Friday's breakfast, there, and then tomorrow you get Friday's lunch and Monday's breakfast. We are not doing this on Saturdays and Sundays. So lunch will be ending th tomorrow and we'll pick back up Monday. Some important tips, please remember to practice your social distancing six feet from your closest person. Uh, pick up your child's meal, go home, do not congregate, no groups bigger than 10. I just want to remind everybody that the meals right now, the funding for the meals, the meals are for children. So I just appreciate everybody on that. Um, it's so important to keep our kids fed. And Mr. Leva is working really hard on this. And his whole staff. It's not just, you know, they're t they're like this show takes so many people to put this together. People are working really hard during this time where we can't be at school, but I feel like the communication has never been better. And we'll talk about that in a few minutes. All right, if you're unable to pick up your child's food, you please call Mr. Leva, and I'll post that number right here. Boop. All right, here we go. So as promised, Mrs. Bednez really had some great video. She was able to put it in a Google Share folder, shared it with me. Here we go. So I'm going to share a lot of clips. These are just clips. The audio is not great, but again, it's something. So we're going to roll the tape. A little Adam's family. Then, 
You'll be the last thing I ever see. That is so hot! <laughs> Just fantastic. Thank you. Uh, the kids are magical. They were prepped. They were ready. So that, that is postponed. I don't know when that will be. But again, we're going to share that every day. I got enough uh, clips and pictures for at least the next week. So a little bit every day. All right. Tweet of the day. Bang. Mr. Fee. Boo. Coop. Spaghetti and meatballs for all. You know, I love craft time. I'm a big craft person. I love making posters and playing with Tinker Tinker toys. And I don't know what those toys are. Those must be new fancy ones. But those aren't the Chris Capaletti toys of, you know, a little while ago. But anyways, nice job, Coop. Great to see you. Cuba Rushwood Ag Program. So this is, thank you, Miss Santangelo. Don't have internet at home? Same. Trying to stay connected worries me. When will I run out of data? What opportunities will I miss? Some of our students feel this too. I'm so glad my CRCS is being proactive in developing a plan that is inclusive to all students. Remember, we know not everybody can see the show. We know not everybody has home internet, but we're trying to reach as many as we can. We're coming up with a plan. Um, and Mrs. Santangelo, that screen right there, uh, I've seen that once or twice for sure. So that's a tough one. Thank you, Lori Little. She's out there on Twitter promoting things. My CRCS is taking care of our kids and doing an awesome job. The Cuba First Baptist will be doing a pantry supply to help cover the weekends. Please help spread the word. So again, school lunches end tomorrow. This is going to help cover the weekend. Thank you, Lori Little, for giving us that message. And Alana Beck. Great to hear from you, my dear students, that we miss you. Just because we cannot see you in school does not mean we are not thinking about you. We care and worry about you. We will get through this time of difficulty. Until then, stay home, rest, and know that you are not alone. That's for sure, Rebel Nation. You're not alone. We're here. We're thinking about you. We're going to try to help you every day. Thank you, Lindsey Quinn. Boo-boo. Today's gym class. Going for a walk and support local businesses. Remember that social distancing? But get outside. Six feet outside is nothing. You can spread out, right? So absolutely, get outside and support small local businesses. Absolutely. And Miss Newbauer, if you haven't checked out students, if you haven't checked out Miss Newbauer's uh, history blog, it's awesome. Who the heck is Dow Jones? I read it. It's very good. Keep up the great work. Uh, Miss Newbauer, we really appreciate your activity and your, your con you're on this every day. This is great. And great to hear from students too. So I used to not follow students back. As I find students now on Twitter, I'm just following you. So if you noticed, I'm just starting to follow people. I want, I want to hear from everybody. So Taylor Grimes, uh, this is what I've been doing while stuck at home. I'll keep people updated about the growth. Absolutely. I want to see those. Those are going to be huge. I wonder what those are. I'm not the greatest like ag person. I don't know what those are, but that's great. Taylor, we're thinking of you and we want to hear from you. Absolutely. All right. Today's precept. Boo. All right. Thank you, Mr. Beck. Also, check out some the teachers. Twitter is exploding every day. People are putting more up. Mrs. Elbert, it's constant with Mrs. Elbert. So if you haven't checked out her Facebook, uh, SOS, uh, CRCS Science, SOS, Seriously Obsessed About Science, Mrs. Elbert, Facebook, Twitter, she's out there putting stuff out there constantly, really active. Um, and again, how are people connecting? It's unbelievable how people are connecting with me. You have Facebook, Facebook Messenger, email, Twitter, texting. I didn't know texting. We text PDFs. We text video. Um, it's pretty impressive. All right. Thanks, everyone, for doing the log toss challenge. Let's check out Mr. Ryan's challenge today. Oh, boy. Here we go. I don't know what to call it. Hey, Rebel Nation. It's Mr. Ryan. Here's for Thursday's challenge. First and foremost, we're going to do a pike push-up. A pike push-up is... Similar to a regular push-up, except you're going to have your legs straight, back straight. Here's my dog, Willow. And you're going to go down in between 
in, in between your hands and pressing up. Remember, keep your back straight down in between your hands, press up. Here's an extension of the pike push up. If you want something that's a little more challenging, you can go into a handstand push up. Okay, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna get down on your knees, find an empty spot on the wall. Okay, you're gonna put your hands in a comfortable position, and then you're gonna kick your feet up onto the wall, extend, and you're gonna do a push up. Head touches the ground, and you push up. See how many you can do. Well, I'm gonna try it. I'll video it. I want you to video your tries too. I hope I don't break my head. Well, I we tried the Superman and I didn't break my face, so here we go. Mr. Jordan and CRCS Outdoors. Mr. Jordan sent me a ton of video overnight last night, and here we go. So let's roll some tape for Mr. Jordan. Here we go. So here we are at the deer facility. This is Baby. She came out to say hi. She's doing great. She'll be a mama again this year. Hi, girl. Hi, girl. Pretty girl. Hi, pretty girl. Look at that girl. She's so pretty. Here's a girl. Uh, to all of my students in fish and wildlife, Latin name, Otocoileus virginianus. Next exam, if we can actually have one. Stay tuned for more CRCS Outdoors. And we're back. So Mr. Jordan sent me tape uh, on many, many things, on the tur turkeys, on the hatchery. We're going to do a, a name that uh, species game. So we got a lot coming. I met Baby last summer. Let me tell you, Baby's magic. I just, I walked away. I met Baby and I gave her some Nilla wafers and I said, man, this is just, it's just magic. So thank you, Mr. Jordan, for sharing that. I know it's connected with many, many people and students. Um, I'm sure you miss being there. So this is just a little piece of, you know, where we have to be. So very, very important. All right. So I'll be starting my phone call. So the pods, right? We're hearing these pods. Um, Mr. and Miss, Mr. Fee and Miss Ralston, Mr. Fee and Miss Ralston, they have developed this awesome plan. It's one thing to come up with an idea, it's another to like put it out there and make it work. This is an awesome plan, so kudos to them. So every student in our district, in the six through 12, I don't know the younger, the uh, elementary plan, but I know in the middle high school, Every grade, I have a list of seniors. I'm on the pod 12, team 12 team. Woo, team 12. Okay, but anyways, uh, we're all going to call and just check on our kids. So we want to call and make sure everyone's all right. So I'm going to start my calls probably around 11 or 12 today. I'm going to give seniors a little bit of time. I'm filming this this morning. I want everyone to wake up. I don't know what everybody's sleeping or how long they're sleeping in. But so you, everyone should be getting a call. And that is just awesome. Great job. Mr. Fee and Ms. Ralston, great job. Seniors, keep checking that email. You need to check your email from Mr. Ackerman, from Mrs. Deck. You need to check that because um, scholarships, some scholarship deadlines have not moved. You need to stay on that. So if, you, if you're seeing the show and you know a senior at Cuba Rushford, remind them, scholarship deadlines, online applications, you know, we may be paused, we're not going to school every day, but the world is still working. We're just, we're working different right now. So please check those emails. All right, everybody, as a pack show, it was a great show. Please reach out to me if you have any questions or I can do anything for you. And again, we'll see you next time on the Rebel Express Show. Stay classy, CR. We're gonna try the log challenge if you're wondering where I am. So this is like my backyard. That's, if you know Olean, that's where Smith over there. Um, the one on West State. Yeah, because I live in West Olean. Washington West Elementary is right over there. So here we go. See how Lupo handles this. All right, Loops. We got to do a lot of exercise this morning. You ready? I'm ready. Let's change the camera a little bit so we get Lupo in it. I can't really see. Okay. So this is our log, Lupo. We got right arm, right arm. Oh, run over here. 
Okay, we gotta throw it. Throw! Come on, loops. Come on. Two! <laughs> no, he doesn't like it when I throw things. Three! Four! I feel like I should've got a smaller log. He's got a stick. Five. I feel like so I that's really hard. We'll get Lupo to play a little bit. Ha! No. <laughs> Come. No, good boy. Hands are all muddy. Lupo. Ha! 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 You a good boy. Come on. Come on.